spiritual underwear makes you spiritual. That's what the Mormons say. That's, that's who, honest to God, they claim that you put the underwear on, you become spiritual. It's that easy. <laughs> okay, let's move it. Right, you ready? I'm ready. Tell the devils out there. <laughs> Are we on? We're on. Oh. <laughs> All the little devils out there. Out. Hello, little Capricorn. Devil, little devil, uh, Capricorn. You little devil, you. And why yes. do we say that? Because every sign has a major arcana card, which coincides with it. And yours would be the devil, the major <gasps> arcana devil. But the good devil. The good devil, yes. You don't have any horns. Mm -hmm. You just have a, a red tail. <laughs> yeah. Well, the devil isn't. Uh, it's a. It's a new concoction. It is. The devil doesn't exist. Don't worry about it. There's no evil. Mm -hmm. There's only idiots running around doing stupid things yes. to one another yes. and making fools of themselves. Yes. But your strong suit is the material plane. Yes. And so you're very, very, very good at... You're adept at it. And ...manifesting the material. You are. That's why the devil, which is... It, it's also about carnal, pre, uh, carnal pleasures, mm -hmm. but taking pleasure in... In, in your senses as well, and in food, in beautiful things, and uh, creating a beautiful environment, um, luxury, so, and also power. Yes, it is the power card. Yes, it's the power card. It's about having power over something, mm -hmm. people or control, things, control, power. and that's why the devil is associated with Capricorn. Yes, and we are going to move on into the month of April. March is happening right now, and Bye. Ava and I. Yes, go ahead. We're actually um, we're at the beach for spring break. We are, and we're together, as you can see. Finally. <laughs> And we do like each other. We like each other very much. Even though we weren't fighting. No. That's not why we were separate. No. No, for practical reasons we had to. And uh, so we're going to read for you for the month of April. Um, what we do here at Virtual Tarot is a four card spread. And we're going to tell you what that, that spread entails. And we put that together so that we could really drill down deep, as deep as we possibly could for each and every sign every month. Okay, so the first card represents... The overall environment of the month of April for you. Cap didn't even mention that. I don't know. But it is for April. Yes, I think we did. Good, thank God. And the next position is uh, the challenge. And then the third position represents the unexpected. Prognostication is all about what Tell you didn't see coming. That's right. That's right. Forewarned is forearmed. So, and then the last position? And the last position is the outcome. That's right. Okay. And so, let's do a little recap for that's Capricorn. I've got recap. my recap book right here. <laughs> and we're going to talk a little bit about what is happening to you right now in the month of March. Okay. Yes. Uh, first card to come up for you is, or was, The Fool coloring the entire uh, month of March. And that is a very playful card. It is the card of the free spirit. It is, if it were the Holy Trinity, it would be um, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the Holy actually. Ghost. Well, yes. Mm -hmm. so, so you this month, and it's an interesting card to come up for Capricorn. I don't really think of the fool when I think of Capricorn because Capricorn is extremely strategic. We became the Holy Spirit. Do you know that? Yes. Now that I thought of it, yes. Um, the mother image became the Holy Spirit. Mm hmm So that we lost our sex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, it was Isis, Horus, and Osiris. Yes. And Isis turned into the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. There you go. So that's all we get. We've been <laughs> snuffed out, and we're now a ghost, right? We're a ghost. <laughs> so getting back to uh, anyway. Fool, which I see that you just had this revelation. Yes, That's cool. I did. Um, getting back to the Fool, the thing is Capricorn is extremely strategic. Capricorn will um, really focus on a situation and wait until the timing's right mm -hmm. to make the move, the next move. And um, so this is sort of the diametric opposite of uh, sort of your tendency mm -hmm. to plan. Mm -hmm. um, Sort of yeah, the day and, tripper, right? right? And the tendency to be very cautious. Mm -hmm. you, you, you abandon that strategy and you leap 
uh, head first into something uh, with total faith. And take a risk. And you take a risk. Mm -hmm. And maybe you risk also looking foolish. Yeah. And they okay. don't like that. It's Capricorns don't like to look foolish. Mm -hmm. So they guard their um, outward mask mm -hmm. uh, so that they, because they, they, it's important for them to have respect. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, this, uh, in March, you abandon that and you, and you go against the grain of your own inclination, personal personality inclination, and you try something totally different spontaneously. And interestingly enough, the next card to come up in the position of challenge is the Lovers, another major arcana card. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the Lovers usually point to a choice, mm -hmm. choosing between two options, uh, or can even mean you are choosing between two possibilities within the arena of love. Mm -hmm. And that is your challenge, which would kind of make sense if we are speaking to love mm -hmm. for our Capricorns. Mm -hmm. that. Love does turn us into uh, sort of the complete the diametric fools. opposite. Yeah, foolish. We do foolish things. Yes, that things we wouldn't normally mm -hmm. normally do. Yeah, so you do what you you wouldn't think to do before, mm -hmm. and you look a little foolish, maybe. Yeah, but that's your challenge. Your right. challenge is to to make this choice. Um, and then we have the Knight of Cups, so yes, let's talk about that. Uh, unexpectedly, we have the Knight of Cups, so there is this movement. Um, of love or this offer of love or perhaps you are um, a peacemaker. A peacemaker. That's the, it's the card of the peacemaker. It could be that as well. Or, so, or you simply offer your shoulder mm -hmm. for someone to cry on. Mm -hmm. And that's just kind of... Which is wonderful because you offer compassion. Popping up unexpectedly. Yeah. So there's this like lovely river of compassion right, that flows right. through the entire reading. Right. And then at the end we had the Four of Swords. So there's some kind of pulling back mm -hmm. that's happening here and um, if that has to do with maybe the lovers the reason I bring that up is three of swords precedes four of swords so usually this is some sort of recovery mm -hmm. so you um, at the end you're going to need to restore mm -hmm. uh, your sensibilities mm -hmm. and it feels very much like um, it could have something to do with this choice, this challenge. Mm -hmm. um, and it doesn't have to be uh, um, a person. You, you, you may not be making some momentous choice between two people. No, but you are, you are deliberating between two possibilities and um, taking into account your needs in choosing from these two possibilities. Right. And at the end, you take a break mm -hmm. and you analyze intellectually in respite uh, the battle you've been waging and you take a break from that so that you can calm your m mental, uh, the mental aspect of yourself mm -hmm. so that, so you can bring back some, some sense uh, to, you know, common sense. All positive cards. All very positive. However, the Fool for Capricorn may be um, a difficult... A little bit. Uh, ...archetype to flow through. It may be, but and Which may be why well, you got to pull back a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah, and, and deliberate. Or it could be just a vacation at the end of it all. It could be. Oh, yeah. They could take a vacation. At the very end. At the very end. Yeah. So at the end of March, you might decide... Spring to, break. Spring break. Rest and relaxation. We're right. getting a lot of this card yeah. within for all yeah. of our signs the four of swords is coming so up. everybody's going on spring spring break we're getting the fool and we're getting it's been a harsh winter mm -hmm. up north yeah so it's no doubt that people want to escape and play and play yeah because because the fool is also play so let's see what's coming up now for Whew. holy smokes <laughs> i know right okay for, uh, for april i'm thinking that maybe what we should do is in uh, oh, I view these cards 
Oh, let's do with that. Spirit and White Light. Oh. <laughs> because Cappy's been having really oh. good readings, and I want those to continue. Yes, of for our Cappy friends. You guys are very Cappy spiritual. Friends. Yes. You got the most spiritual card in the deck opening March, which is the Fool. Right, right. So don't let anybody tell you you're not spiritual. That's right. Okay, here we go. Christ was a Capricorn, after all. There you go. Oh my my my! We have the star yeah, they're reversed. All, that's they're all on their right side. Yeah. Yep. And the reason she's checking is this just came up for your other yeah, earth I didn't sign want the friends. Entire deck to be reversed. Yes. You see, so that's why I checked. Uh, the other your other earth sign friend out there, Taurus, yeah. received this card. In the upright. In the upright. Yes, that is very true. So we have the star reversed, and so let's talk a little bit about the star. The star is good upright or in the reverse it is it's powerful it is such a powerful card it cannot be bad even in the reverse right um maybe so dulled a little dulled a little maybe some of your hopes have been dashed and it hasn't prevented you from dreaming and experiencing that spiritual motivation to go forward, but a, a little bit of your enthusiasm has been um, capped. Hmm. Sort of. Well, there's fulfillment in the card that is so powerful that you still feel fulfilled. Mm -hmm. But, again, something within how you want it to manifest has been stymied or dashed, as I said. Hmm. A little bit of a somewhere it's not being fulfilled the way you thought it would be. So, for instance, if you're a musician, I'm going to go back to All that right. again, as an example, okay, you may want to play a certain venue, but are offered a venue that is not exactly what you were hoping for. Mm -hmm. But we're going to read on. Right, we're going to read on and see what your challenge is. Oh my, strange. Okay, and up comes the King of Cups in reverse, in the right. position of challenge. And I, I'm going to go out on a limb and say your challenge is. We read for women, but we also read for men. Bundle keepers out there, you guys know who you are. Um, they're all they're good. They're, they're all the challenge is, okay, um, a man who is maybe a little manipulative, and I always think of a drinker. I just do. Um, it's it's an addict, okay? Um, so your challenge is somebody who's not in control of their emotions and also maybe self-medicating. If this is you, um, it could be a result of not um, maybe getting exactly what you wanted, wanted and desired. Right. Um, it's, you know, if you're not feeling the star power mm -hmm. that you were hoping for. Or becoming the, the central the central, the locus mm -hmm. of ever, of the attention that you wanted, mm -hmm. then um, you might decide to drown your disappointment in whatever you like to drown your disappointment or in. Or you may be drawn to someone who likes to drown their disappointment. Right. Like a partner in crime kind of right. person. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, though... Well, you might have to deal with someone who's trying to manipulate you emotionally. That as well. I mean, if we were to go back to the music industry, because this is the star, right? Mm -hmm. um, or if you're on YouTube, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, you may have somebody who is is actually not really on your side. Right, right. I mean, right. that's a challenge because this person is 
difficult, okay? Mm -hmm. And they're throwing out these emotional sort of bombs, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, which is uh, uh, some they use emotion to hurt you or to manipulate you or to they they give in order to capture you. Kind of blowing up you know? your star, right? Um, no, they offer you, they promise you something, and then they don't fulfill it. But um, it's again the same syndrome. Again, mm -hmm. uh, someone who abuses you and yet loves you on one minute. Next minute they abuse you, next minute they love you. Mm -hmm. That is really a cocktail of addiction. You become addicted to that um, push pull. Push pull. Right. Mm -hmm. You're that's even more addictive than the lover or the person who's always kind to it's you. It's like what the Taylor Swift song we were talking about. Which one? Where she says I love the players and you love the game. Mm -hmm. It's a player. Yeah, it's a player. So there you so, go. So let's see what is unexpected. All right, so you make money regardless. <laughs> so the record's selling. <laughs> record selling. <laughs> Unexpectedly. Or whatever it is surrounding this star mm -hmm. power that you're a little bit um, maybe, I don't want to say ashamed. Well, sometimes you're not ashamed, you're disappointed. You're disappointed, or maybe you're even shy. Yeah. Could be that. Could be that. You're too shy, you don't have the confidence. Yeah. So you don't make the, the play. Mm -hmm. You don't do the thing. Yeah. Because you don't want to put yourself out there to make the fool out of yourself, which you had before. Remember? Mm -hmm. So, so what you do is you become pragmatic. You practically you just count your shekels. Mm -hmm. You you sort of uh, see how where you are on a material plane. That is, it doesn't even have to be material. Well, it's, it's an just accounting. Where you are. It's so, an accounting yeah. of where you are, mm -hmm. and being pleased at least giving yourself a feeling of being self. Congratulatory. Because it feels more stable than this. Yes, it's which so, is so congratulations. Like ephemeral. But which is wonderful. <laughs> we should congratulate ourselves yeah. on the efforts we make. We're kind of overheating. Then, I think we should immediately move to the very end to Born. see the outcome. Capricorn. Capricorn. Boy, is that a Capricorn card? Oh, wonderful. And that is a very masculine a will. This is this is the card of the will. Yes, and this is also the magician in the upright. This is the one. This is the first card of the mm -hmm. major arcana. So in the, when the fool meets the magician on his journey, he learns how to bring pure spirit, and I'm mm -hmm. mentioning the fool because we had the fool last month, mm -hmm. into um, the earth plane on the earth plane so mm -hmm. in bringing things into existence okay mm -hmm. so manifesting um, this desire this this thing that you're shy about right and also at the same time having the um, the wherewithal the confidence mm -hmm. um, the skill mm -hmm. um, to actually take all of these talents which you have, you seem to be pretty well balanced mm -hmm. this month, take these talents and combine them to create the desired outcome. Mm -hmm. At the end of the month. So you start out uh, with either a delay or some kind of difficulty in, in um, manifesting your deep felt desire, your ambition, your, your art, your mm -hmm your talent. And you get waylaid a little bit you by this by, king. Or, or by yourself. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're sort of uh, either manipulatable. Mm -hmm, because of the state you're in. Or you're distracted by an overly emotional man mm -hmm. who may like to kick back with a few hundred beers every night. <laughs> <laughs> Seven is enough. Yes. To warrant 
being in that category. Where you should probably wake up and say, the six pack is gone out of the refrigerator. Yeah. And there's a new one in its place. Um, so, and so, but then going back to what you know, um, where you're, you're feeling safe, which is counting the money. Yes, in, in the practical world, the material world of, of your accomplishments. Taking in an accounting. Yes, and, and unexpectedly maybe even getting some rewards. And maybe that's what brings back your confidence. It very much can, because yeah. then you are able to, what's above is below. So right. you bring what's above, which is this star card, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Below. That's your the muse that we were saying. Yes. They suddenly uh, become more connected to their muse, mm -hmm. and they then can manifest on a material level. Right. You, you become a lightning rod, basically. You do. You do. So, so, oh my goodness, you are. So the 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 month starts out uh, maybe even a little bit gloomy. A little bit. A little tiny bit. There's a bit of disappointment. A bit of disappointment, but it's still a powerfully positive yeah. force. It's like that gig you were hoping for. Yeah, and you get something that's a little less, you know? Right, but don't let yourself become distracted From, this month. No, keep on the path, and this is the card of harvest. Mm -hmm. you, you harvest in something. Uh, and at the end, you actually become magical, and you manifest magically, mm -hmm. because it's a magical card. It is. And you become willful, that is, you express your will, mm -hmm. and uh, through your will, you, you, uh, is the power. You feel the power through your will. You become assertive. Mm -hmm. And so there you go. Very good reading for Capricorn. Very good Capricorn. If you'd like more information on this four card spread, please click <laughs> below because Ava and I have created an astounding council card for you. It is an audio file if you can't get enough of us, or Ava, I should say. Oh, I do the card. Who yeah. narrates the cards? Um, please click below and subscribe. It's less than a cup, a cup of Starbucks coffee. Yes. And you will get so much more um, enjoyment throughout the month. Yes. From this. So do that, and also we read. We have uh, personal and private readings. They are listed on our website. Go to virtualtarot.wordpress.com. Click on the purchase a reading page. Please select your reading. Email us at avatrudy at yahoo.com. We'll get right back to you. Yes, and thank you very much for coming to the reading this month. And please come back and uh, tell your friends and subscribe. And thank you very, very much. And don't forget to watch the bios, which we're getting oh, ready yes. to film. Oh, yes, I forgot. You yes. can discover all of our secrets. All our secrets, yes. Okay, see you next month. Bye. Bye. One, two, three, four, get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Nine, gonna shine, life is good. I'm doing fine, ten, gonna do it right and do it again, yeah. I look into the sky with all the beautiful color, but there's more than just for me, so gonna share it with another. I got to show, to give, let out, I want to sing and shout. Take a look and see a beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening, and together make a beautiful life. And if you wanna see, then come along with me, that's right. And if you want a good tomorrow, it's pretty simple, got a plan to let you follow. And if you do, you have a future real bright. And it's a combination of consistency, come on and say, oh, 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 o